Let's talk Set Active. They are an activewear company based out of LA that has absolutely exploded online. They were started in 2017, but they really rose to popularity through the use of online influencers. And they've also been seen on celebrities like Hailey Bieber, everybody's favorite style icon. Today, I am gonna be putting an outfit from Set Active to the test. I've already worn it at a yoga retreat that I was at a couple of weeks ago. And I also picked up a set from Amazon that is such a close dupe. So I'm gonna be comparing those two for you as well. And really just trying to figure out if Set Active is worth the price. So without further ado, let's get into it. heard the most about the Sculpt Flex material from Set Active. So I purchased a set in the color Amethyst when they went on sale. This is the box bra and I got it in a size extra small. And these are the matching leggings which I got in a size small. Normally I would be a size small in both of these pieces. However, because it was on sale, the small was sold out in the bra and I just crossed my fingers and thankfully the extra small is really stretchy and it did fit me just fine. With the sizing on these, on the Set Active website, it says to size up rather than sizing down if you're in between sizes. I considered getting a medium after I read that on the website and I'm really glad that I just like stuck to my true size here. For reference, at Lululemon, I wear a size four when it comes to pants. I'm a small at Set Active and usually at like a Ritzia and stuff, I'll wear a small in their activewear as well. If you didn't know already, I'm a Canadian girly, so I'm always concerned about shipping and handling internationally and duties that you might have to pay when your shipment arrives, and also the currency conversion, which right now the Canadian dollar is not very high, so that makes everything quite a bit more expensive, unfortunately. With this sale, I was able to get the two pieces for $71 US, but there's $20 international shipping. So this order was 91 US dollars, which translated into about $118 Canadian at the time that I made this purchase a couple of weeks ago. And with the shipping, although it sucked to pay that $20, my order got here within 24 hours of me placing it, which I thought was wild. So whoever is in charge of shipping at Set Active, you did a great job. When my package arrived, of course, I tried everything on right away and I was pretty happy with the quality of these pieces, particularly when it comes to the bra. So this bra is double lined, which I love. That means that for me, it's not see-through at all. Like it is completely opaque, which obviously is what I'm looking for. And this color is exactly the way that it looked like it was on the website. I've never heard anyone talk about this before with Set Active, but in getting such a light color, I was really nervous that they were going to be see-through. And unfortunately, I have to say, they're not totally opaque. It's not the worst I've seen in terms of sheerness of a material, but definitely if you're not wearing nude underwear, you know, you can see it through these. And also, even if you are wearing nude underwear, if you're wearing a thong, like what I would normally wear underneath a pair of leggings, I feel like you can totally see the outline and like butt crack. So if you're really sensitive about that and you want to be more modest with your workout clothes, maybe stick to a darker color or just skip this one altogether. In terms of comfort of these, they're super stretchy, super comfortable. I found that they wore really well in a yoga class and they just look cute. I won't lie, like this is totally a set that I'm just gonna wear around and just kind of throw on like a zip up hoodie over top of, wear with some sneakers. Compared to some brands, for instance, like Lululemon, I'd say the pricing on Set Active, especially if you're able to shop a sale like I did, 
isn't too, too bad. Like you really can't get a set from Lululemon for a hundred dollars. I feel like you pay that for just a pair of leggings. So as much as it's like an influencer, Instagram kind of hiked up brand, their pricing isn't terrible. However, they are still kind of expensive, you know, for workout clothing. And the quality is good, I'd say. Like, it's pretty average. I think my biggest point of contention with all of this is just the sheerness of the pants. Because for a set that I purchased from Amazon, like the one I'm about to talk about, I kind of expect them to be a little bit see-through. But with a brand like this, especially one that I see people that I follow wear and talk about and like really hype up all the time, I was expecting more. I didn't think that they would be see-through. Like that's one of the reasons why I purchased from this brand is because I thought with all that hype, it had to be a really good quality product. And the people that I follow wear the super light colors in these, like I feel like they have every color that's ever come out in Set Active. And I've never once heard anybody say, you know, these are great but they're kind of see-through, so just be careful. And that is a bit disappointing to me. Here's where it gets really, really fun. This is the set that I purchased on Amazon. It was $30 Canadian, so way, way cheaper, you know, a savings of like, what, 80 or $90? The feeling of the fabric is so, so similar. I wore this set all day yesterday and it was very, very comfortable as well. I'm gonna insert some clips of me trying these out for a day and then we'll come back and talk more. I just got this set in from Amazon and it was $30 um, compared to the set active. And you can see they do have some very similar detailing on them. I'll just take it out of the bag. They look almost identical and feel almost identical, which is pretty wild. I don't know that I've ever had such a good dupe for something. I think the only differences I can see so far is that obviously the logo is on this one. There's no logo at all on this one, which like I'm totally fine with. And it did come with removable cup pads. I hate these. I always take them out anyways. And the lines are slightly different. Here on the set active one, they just continue straight and small all the way down. And on this one, they have like a little bit of a smaller rib here at the bottom, but the trim and everything, like it looks very, very similar. The seams and everything at the bottom, like these are, the same pants. Like, did they come from the same factory? I'm really curious to see what the fit difference is like with these two. It very much does feel like an exact dupe here. It's definitely still sheer, but I found that my set active was sheer anyways. I might look a little bit crazy and I know my room is a bit of a mess. I just had COVID and I'm finally starting to feel better. So, I thought I'd try this on and wear it. I'm definitely not gonna be working out, but just around the house today and see if I think that it compares to the real set active. The fit on the top is maybe the only thing that isn't totally ideal, but I do feel like every kind of strapless or one shoulder top is gonna cut in a little bit. And I, I don't find this one to be too bad. Like, I think it still looks nice and it is still comfortable ultimately. When I looked at the detail on these pants, I could not believe how similar it was to the pair that I have from Set Active. Holding these in my hands and comparing them, they just feel so, so similar. The Set Active might be slightly softer, but it's honestly like hard for me to tell a difference between the two when I have them side by side and you're looking at the stitching and the piping and everything, like they are almost identical. When you're looking at what these two different sets are made of, the dupe set is 90% nylon, 10% spandex, and then the set active pair is 
88% microfiber nylon, whatever that means, and then 12% spandex. So they are compositionally like almost exactly the same as well. One thing that's different though is that you can't mix and match sizes. So if you have a different size chest, then you wear your pants. If you're buying the set on Amazon, I guess you'd have to mix and match two together in order to get the right size. Otherwise though, I would say that this Amazon dupe is pretty spectacular and I would just buy that one unless you really want to pay that extra 90 bucks to have the set logo embroidered right here. Like just get the one on Amazon and no one really is going to be able to tell the difference if you just like the style of it. The pants in both are that little bit of sheer from the back specifically. So no big difference there either. However, the only issue that I'm having is that when I purchased these on Amazon, they had multiple different colors. There were lots of sizes available and I just picked this orange because I thought it was the most similar type of like pastel color to what I'd ordered from Set Active. But now I think other people have figured this out as well because the sizing's limited, some of the colors are just completely gone. I'm gonna put the link I used below in the description if you want to check it out and I'll update it if I find more on the internet because who knows this product just like may come back in stock and go out of stock and come back in stock. I feel like a lot of things are doing that but also if you do want to look for it online on your own I'll put the company right here but it's called Sportineer. So that's something that you can search for Sportineer or like two piece set. In conclusion of this video, I do like both workout sets. I don't think I'll personally be purchasing from Set Active again unless there's something that comes up like a color or a really cool style of bra that they sell that like I can't find anywhere else. But for now, I feel like with these two new activewear sets, like I don't really need anything else in my collection at the moment anyways. And when you can get such a good dupe for something on Amazon, it's hard to resist that and want to pay full price for the other product. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a note down there in the comments, or you can always send me a DM on Instagram. And with that, I guess I'll see you next Wednesday with a brand new video. Bye!